you were talking about how everybody got along well and didn't really see color in your neighborhood. Did your did those feelings start to change when y'all started demand? You know, I'm going to use the word demand equal access to public facilities. Did the neighbors start treating each other differently? Well, like I said earlier, the neighbors they treated us all as Please. neighbors, just neighbors, friends, and yes. neighbors. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so it was just when you start going downtown in the, those areas there, it's when it really starts showing and, and when we wanted to go to different places, and, you know, we had to get, I just say for instance, like if you go to the liquor store, well, you had to get in the color line. Oh. So that was color line at the liquor store and if you wanted to empty your bathroom, that was a uh, Colored bathroom. Oh. If you can find one, most of the time, if you went to uh, men's, you go to the coat house, and that wasn't nothing but a. It wasn't. A, I didn't call it a bathroom. It was just a, a room down in the basement with a drainage pipe. Oh, and like just, to the cave or whatever <laughs> down below. <laughs> That's why people complained about the smell and the dankness of the courthouse. Yeah, and uh, wow, and the water fountain. Even on the street, the uh, courthouse, they had a colored water fountain, white water fountain. Also, you would find that in the uh, restaurant because I worked at uh, Grant's. Oh. Walgreens was next there. Woodward. All the five and ten cent stores, they all was the same. Right. Yeah. So do you remember about how that felt emotionally? Well, it didn't make you feel good, but you didn't have no other choice. I mean, That's what I wondered, is if it kind of felt quote-unquote normal at the time? Well, you just... Or no, when you, you knew it wasn't right. Oh, hey, we knew it wasn't right. When you worked in the place and they serving food, but when lunchtime come, uh, uh, all of us, we had to leave and go down on Church Street or Home Street to get our sandwich if you didn't bring it with you. Then if you brought your food with you, we had to go to the storage room or somewhere to sit there and eat. Yeah, that's just wrong. So that that's where that neighborly feeling wasn't really happening is in the in public places and in the workplace. Yeah, it's kind of like along that you stayed, uh, stayed in your t on your turf and everything. Everybody got along. Right. And then you try to cross that line, and you're just gonna have some trouble. That's kind of what I was thinking too. So it was kind of back then we just knew where to, we knew where to, when to roll them and when to fold them. <laughs> so right. So part of what you're saying is this wasn't just physical territory like don't cross the railroad track, this was a behavior too or choices that you made. Yeah. So staying in your place was not just in your physical place. No. It was in whether you pushed those limits. Yeah. That's when you was in trouble. 